All people come to him, come to the way of Sultan Rabia, most honored one and most glorified one. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم نوية الأربعين نوية الاعتكاف نوية الخيط السلوك لله تعالى العظيم في هذا المسجد الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أيها المؤمنون أيها المسلمون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لك يا الله العزة لك يا الله القوة لك يا الله الكبر لك يا الله الكرم لك يا الله الرحمة لك يا الله المغفرة لك يا الله الله سبحانه وتعالى حمد نفسه بنفسه He praised himself to himself, by himself. قال في سورة الفاتحة الحمد لله. Glory to Allah سبحانه وتعالى. As we said before yesterday. That when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you a ni'mah, what you say? Alhamdulillah. You don't say subhanallah when you have you are eating. You say alhamdulillah. But when you are not expecting something, you say subhanallah. When Allah save you from something, you say, Alhamdulillah, you say, Al-Quwata wal-Kibara laka ya Allah, wal-Rahmata laka ya Allah. Because He has sent mercy on us to save us. The beginning of Surah Al-Fatiha is by Alhamd. Alhamd on what? You do something, you say Alhamdulillah. Allah said Alhamdulillah. On what? He said Alhamdulillah on what He has given us. Alhamdulillah who has made us human beings. And created us and created creation for Bani Adam. Every detail that Allah created creation with Khalaqa al Samawati wal Ard fi sitati ayyam thumma stawa al al Arsh. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 
اللہ الذي خلق السماوات والارض في ستة ایام ثم استوى على العرش ما لكم من دونه من ولی ولا شفیع افلا تتذکرون He created heavens and earth السماوات heavens or what heavens أي كل ما سوى الله عز وجل. Everything that other than Allah سبحانه وتعالى is created. That creation is Allah سبحانه وتعالى created it in six days. He said six days. In order for us to understand that Allah can do it in one day, can do it in a moment, kun fayakun, doesn't need six days. But Allah made put a number to teach us that. Everything been done with numbers. The importance of numbers. يعرج إليه في يوم كان مقدره. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سأل سائل بعذاب واقع للكافرين ليس له دافع من الله ذي المعارج تعرج الملائكة والروح إليه في يوم كان مقداره خمسين ألف سنة فاصبر صبرا جميلا Angels he made angels and a ruh a ruh is different from angels to creation angels Allah created them a ruh Allah created it but what is a ruh they say a, a huge angel that counts all angels under him from the greatness that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created him he can when he open his wings Allah knows best all angels can come under from the greatness of that angel might be ruh comes from that the soul is like you say today you say water you put it in a a jar a ruh is like a jar for all souls he said first he created he said he created creation heavens and earth in six Six days. Then he says, "Tarju al-malaika to ilayhi wa al-ruh fi fi yawman kana mikdar wa khamsin alf sanat." The angels and the ruh ascend up to him in a day. It's a number one in a day, but not. As you think, that day is 50,000 years long. So six days multiplied by 50,000. How much? 300,000. It's a number. Allah doesn't need to have 300,000 to create in 300,000 or but he say that he created six days, earth and heaven. And ascending 
that angel and all other angels, Ruh and all angels, in a day that stretched to 50,000 years. Imagine then how big is this universe. They ascend in one time or they are still ascending? Ma'arij, he said. Repeat the ayah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Sala sa'ilun bi'adhab waqa' lil kafirin laysa lahu dafa' min Allahi dhil ma'arij. تعرج الملائكة والروح إليه في يوم كان مقداره خمسين ألف سنة. That one معراج. He said خمسون ألف سنة fifty thousand. But Allah making معارج plural many ascensions. And these ascensions no one knows how much they are. In measurement. In one day it's 50,000. But they are still ascending more and more. Allah showing these angels that ascensions and this greatness of heavens never ends. You are still from day I created you till day I end this dunya. These angels are Ascending and ascending and ascending day after day, heavenly day after heavenly day, from the beginning of the creation to eternity. Azamatullah. Allah wants to show His Azama. That Ruh, when I fought to feed Him in Ruhi, Allah said. To Sayyidina Adam, that I blow in him from my so my spirit or my my ruh essence or whatever you translated. I I blow in Adam, he moved. He blow. He blows like what we blow. No way. Allah in the Holy Quran in order to understand using that word means with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala order that ruh that from that main the essence of arwah comes out goes to Adam alayhi That Hamd, he is glorifying himself for all what have he created to tell us that I am the one that I can create and I can make people to die. Whatever ni'mah he gave to us on our behalf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save us, especially Ummatun Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, Alhamdulillah. Who, Alhamdulillah to whom? To Rabbul Alameen. And who read that ayah, uh, that uh, surah? Muslim. Means he specified Muslim with the every breath they are breath, breathing in and out, <coughs> saying Alhamdulillah. Without we are feeling it, it comes Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Means the Lord of heavens and earth, the Lord of creation. And the first letter of Alhamd is the first letter of Allah. And every 
beautiful name and attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are being dressed with Ummatul Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mercy on us and all of them they begin with what? Alif 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 Lam you cannot say to Allah Kareem what you say? Al Kareem the only one Kareem Al Rahim Al Rahman the Alif always is the indication of istiqama indication of Sirat al Mustaqim. When you glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are crossing on that bridge that between hell and heaven. That alif, Sirat al Mustaqim. When you say Alhamdulillah or Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, that's why Allah said, Lahul Asma al Husna fad'uhu biha. وَلِلَّهِ الْأَسْمَاءُ الْحُسْنَى فَادْعُوهُ بِهَا فَذَرُوا الَّذِينَ يُلْحِدُونَ فِي أَسْمَائِهِ سَيُجْزَوْنَ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ He is ordering us to call on him, ask him through his beautiful names and attributes. Because he wants us to be on that bridge, Alif, that between heavens, hell and heaven as much as you are mentioning his beautiful names and attributes you are advancing on in dunya on Sirat al-Mustaqim if we say Sirat al-Mustaqim is this length my arm length and hand so in dunya as much as you are praying you are approaching approaching the, fi the final line final destination so if you die and you are in the middle you are in problem you will not be with Prophet Prophet you have to be at the end so dunya is being given to us a jisr, a bridge between hellfire and heaven and that alif is the way that you can cross. As much as we are doing Quran and praying our prayers, prayers, uh, behaving ourselves, not going here and there, keeping our obligations, leaving our bad manners, doing the 500 obligations as much as we can, leaving the forbiddens, the 800 forbiddens, and moving so we are approaching toward the end for sure we are unable to come to the end awliyaullah they say that there is from inayatullah when it reached you Allah gave you a, a bridge and a distance your duty is to walk through through all kind of obligations until you reach wherever you reach when Allah sees you Allah is seeing you and his prophet is seeing you wasayara Allah amalakum وَقُلْ عَمَلُوا فَسَيَرَ اللَّهُ عَمَلَكُمْ وَرَسُولُهُ وَالْمُؤْمِنُونَ وَسَتُرَدُّونَ إِلَىٰ عَالِمِ الْغَيْبِ وَالشَّهَادَةِ فَيُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ وَقُلْ عَمَلُوا Allah said this is my way do as much as you do as much as you can وَقُلْ عَمَلُوا how much you can do do don't stop. There is a sick person, for example, cannot send or cannot sit. 
He cannot pray standing. He's sitting and praying. Is not? He will have double reward. Because he didn't stop say, I am sick, I cannot do it. No, he's sitting and praying. Is but the one who is sahih healthy there is no what Allah will give him reward will give him reward but the one who is sick and still he is doing his obligation his rewards will be multiplied so Allah is saying وَقُلْ يَعْمَلُوا say ya Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa to them وَقُلْ say let them do Allah is going to see what they are Allah is seeing what they are doing and his prophet and when you reach the maqam of mu'min you can see also ثم ينبئكم بما كنتم تعملون in the day of judgment is going to tell you what you have done and what kind of mercy i have given to you why he wants to show us ينبئكم بما كنتم تعملون to uh, tell inform to inform you what you have done in order that to see how much Allah has given you more than what you deserve and showing his mercy on you by looking at you is a mercy already فَسَيَرَ اللَّهُ عَمَلَكُمْ Allah seeing your amal means he is looking at us means he is sending his mercy on us when you do something small Allah will blow it out for you huge Allah will be happy it's not so he wants us to do as much as we can move and one angel of death comes if we are still in the middle for sure we cannot reach the end with our with our soup of amal blended with all kind of uh, uh, garbage awliyaullah they say that Allah send on you his inaya, inayatullah, his care, his heavenly care, his absolute care, his lovely care. He send on you as soon as that inayatullah, rahma, that comes on you, Allah create an angel as rihu sabah an angel that like the breed of the of youth that like like the spring of heaven that what comes of smell from heaven that angels carry that that smell with it he is coming carry you from where you arrived and put you at the end one angel of that comes to take your soul before moment of that Allah send Rihu Saba on you that is an angel that is from heavens with all the beauty of heavens come and dress you so what Sayyidina Azrael would see he will see that perfect Abd paradise sent to paradise but they want from us وَكُلِ amalu. Say ya Muhammad sallallahu say to them, do. I gave you obligation, do what you can. Don't spend your time on nonsense. This one did this, this one did that, this one said this, this one said that. Creating fitna. الفتنة نائمة لعن الله من أيقظها فتنة is dormant Allah curse who will bring it up so backbiting rumor false rumors all these bad characteristics leave them instead of opening your mouth and say bad characteristics praise the person 
show his good characteristics even if he has bad characteristics من أحسن الأخلاق the best of characters as Prophet sallallahu alaihi said don't backbite so when you exchange instead of the meaning of backbite is uh, see, say, seeing things wrong يعني غيبة backbiting to say something in the back of someone okay say backbite but say good characteristics say this person is good he has good manners good behaviors instead of backbiting to say this man is bad characteristic not good behavior what you are losing you are adding no no in, in front of it and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam never said in his life no never said la never he did anything that makes people unhappy makes people happy so Allah is saying learn from the messenger of Allah the seals of messengers and do Allah will come Allah's care on you will come and send you that angel that angel can be sent in every moment Grand Sheikh may Allah bless his soul said and this is I'm quoting him that when Allah created the creation he created first the light of Sayyidina Muhammad and from that light all creation came without going into that subject but he said that from that creation Allah sent seven jewels seven jewels he called them jewels are diamonds the 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 jewels that never earth in deep mining or not deep mining or mountains they never saw such jewels it's beyond the understanding of jewels on earth he created seven jewels and in a pair way a pair uh, shape awliyaullah they know and by kun fayakun the resim of one of these angels were was being put on these jewels the beauty of Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam with his touch these jewels becomes ignited their light and they become disseminating different heavenly lights on earth he said the seven jewels only one person can bring them up because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hide them these seven jewels in the oceans seven oceans or else this ocean would have come on earth seven major oceans they, these jewels are hidden in different places and the only they only appear because they appear to prophet sallallahu he continued he didn't look at 
them. Like when the mountain of Uhud came and say, Ya Rasulullah, whatever you want, I will turn myself into gold. He said, for you? He said, no, we don't need. Prophet didn't need. He wants Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they are kept for Mahdi alayhi salam. That he comes with them. Awliyaullah knows the inaya, the care of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his servant. So he created these seven jewels that if you see them in dream, that will be one of the main illumination of your heart. But that fi alminah in Allah's knowledge. We 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 don't claim anything. But only I claim that is a in a pearl uh, in a pear pear shape. As if I am seeing it now. The pear shape. But not more than that. When Allah gives, gives. When Awliya Allah gives, they give. So our duty is to keep ourselves clean because they will dress us from the beauty of these jewels, wherever you are, the light will come when you are doing وَكُلِعْمَلُوا and say, do, Allah said to Prophet, let them do. When you do your obligations, this light of Sayyidina Jibreel will dress you. Because we don't know when we leave dunya. And Prophet wasallam said that in the signs of the last days which before we say the a question which is the quickest way that a person die no, all of us we are going to die some people they they are on the bed of death takes one week two weeks or someone has a, a failure of kidney takes time but there is something that immediately is, you are gone heart attack Prophet وسلم, he said from the signs of the last days there will be people will die in big numbers yeah. from something that take them quickly and he call it Mawtul Fuja'a the sudden death when the heart stops He said, that is going to be signs of the last days. And today, every day you are hearing that person died, that person died, that person died, suddenly. He has nothing. He, I know one murid of Maulana Sheikh in London. He's a jeweler. And he worked with uh, Bulgari, finest uh, jewelry for watches and rings and so on. He was expert. I was going to, I was arriving to London, or I arrived to London. No, I was arriving to London and I heard that that person, you remember? Yeah. Hosni. 
Salim, Salim, brother of Dr. Hosni from Sri Lanka, was preparing the program at that night for me for next day. He was sitting with his wife, and in a few seconds, heart attack, he died. He was studying more on jewelry to improve his business and then the day that he finished, it was the day that I came to London and it was the day he passed away. Mautul Fuja. How many today? From the sickness you don't know I know someone that he comes always they told him in order to have good energy take from that Chinese energy they sell it here huh? something take from it it will give you strength. You begin to take. Until one day he began to feel uh, not good. So he went to the doctor. He said you have to do a blood test. So I will cut it short. That medicine, that that they sell it in every supermarket. They made his lab test. They saw that his creatinine is very high. It's 3,000. And he was supposed to be 2.5. Where is doctors here? Creatinine how much? One. They found that the side effect of this container, of this t uh, uh, energy had had uh, blocked his kidneys and his liver, and he was supposed to die. So you don't know. And then, Alhamdulillah, after he was on medication, very heavily medication, for one year he came back to normal. So, Allah said, وَكُلِعْمَلُوا Do what you can. Remember my beautiful names and attributes. Through them what I have given to you. Every name is a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to humanity. If you look at it deeply and think about it, you find every name Every attribute has a meaning that no one can carry that meaning except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He gave to Ummatul Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, I didn't see it in any other religion. The beautiful names and the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We never saw it in any other religion. We saw it only in Islam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dress us from this beautiful name and attribute. These beautiful names and attributes. He blessed us with them, but he asking one thing. This meeting here is under good amal. Anything you do good and you know it is good, is good amal. You do something wrong, it's bad amal. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us from our bad amals. And to keep us always under the good amal. If we do it or we don't do it, our niyyah is to do Ya Rabbi Allah. We are weak servant. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give shifa to all of you Amen. and especially Zaim.
and Abdul Wahid and many others and us also, all of us inshallah. If you thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala day and night from the beginning of dunya to end of dunya you are not, it's not enough of what Allah has given to you. When Allah calls Prophet Ya Abdi, Prophet وسلم, so happy. So Allah make us his Abd. We have to thank him that how much it is nice when Allah calls you Ya Abdi. If someone calls you Ya Abdi, what happened? Get upset. But when Allah calls you Ya Abdi, you get up, I mean, don't get upset. You get happy. If I say to myself or to them, Ya Abdi, Ya Abdi, go get water. He's upset. When Allah tells him, he's happy. Let Allah tells you every moment, Ya Abdi. And take away from us to be slaves to shaitan. And to clean us and clear us, inshallah. Hurmat al Habib, Hurmat al Fatih. I will be in the masjid at 5 o'clock. So we'll meet there. There will be food after a while, I don't know when, but inshallah. No food in the masjid. <laughs>